stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. These are the beautiful, powerful words of Jesus Christ as he spoke this to a crippled man. And what a joy it must have been for this man to hear his solution come in the most simplest of ways. My name is Brian Washigadi. Welcome to DCIKZ Live Series. Today I want to read for us from the book of John chapter 5. And I'm going to start reading uh, from verse 5. And I'm reading this in the Passion Translation. It says, Now there was a man who had been disabled for 38 years, lying among the multitude of the sick. When Jesus saw him lying there, he knew that the man had been crippled for a long time. So Jesus said to him, Do you truly long to be healed? Verse 7, The sick man answered, Sir, there is no way I can get healed, for I have no one who will lower me into the waters when the angel comes. As soon as I try to crawl to the edge of the pool, someone else jumps ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, Stand up, pick up your sleeping mat, and walk. And immediately the man stood up and walked. What jumped at me here was the reply of this crippled man, who the Bible really doesn't give a name. But this man in verse 7 says to Jesus, after Jesus asks him, do you truly long to be healed? This man had been lying there for 38 years. 38 years, that's a crazy long time. I'm not even 38 years old myself. So that's my lifetime plus a couple more. But Jesus says to this man, do you truly long to be healed? And the man says, sir, there is no way that I can be healed. Listen to the statement of this man. Listen to the place of his heart. Listen to the position of his being. He says to Jesus, Sir, there is no way for me to be healed. I think the reason why this man will say that was because he had seen so many people over the past 38 years or so maybe get healed in the exact same way. The waters would be stirred, then they would go in and the first one to jump in would receive their healing. So his, 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 his mind was conditioned that healing could only come in that one way. I don't know what kind of conditioning you have, especially in this interesting season that we go through. I don't know what kind of conditioning it is that you have held on to. But I'd like to introduce to you something else, a higher truth that we know, that Jesus Jesus is able, he is stable, and he is available. There is nothing that he cannot do. So listen, if Jesus comes to you and he is asking you today, do you truly long to be healed? Do you truly want to be delivered? Do you truly require help? Do you truly want to be saved? I don't know what your answer is, but I sure do hope that like me, the answer is going to be like, yes, sir, whatever it is that you want to do, I am ready because I truly believe. And if there is unbelief, you say like the man in Mark chapter 9 and say, Lord, help my unbelief. Do not limit God by what it is that you've listened to, by what it is that you know, by whatever kind of conditioning it is that you have. Do not limit the king because he is able and he is willing to do you good. God bless you and see you real soon.